How to claim ownership of a Google My Business listing. Easy tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can claim your ownership over a Google My Business listing. So let's get into it. Now, Google My Business is a simple platform where you can enter your business on Google Maps and it will show up on search results like this. So if I just search for beauty salons, you will be able to see the businesses. You can click on more businesses over here and then they would open up in the Google Maps as well. And you can get directions to those locations. You can see basic information about that as well. And this enables you to easily be recognized within your area. You can get your listing to denote your working hours, overall ratings, your reviews. You can display your contact information as well as some general images of your business. Now, let's say that you are about to create a Google listing and you find out someone has created a listing for you and that is a illegitimate or fake listing, what do you do then? Let's say you actually run the salon called Elon Salon. So let's say that you found out that your beauty salon already has a listing or your business already has a listing created by someone else. So what do you do in that situation? In that situation, how do you deal with that? What are you supposed to do? And how can you get back ownership of your listing? Well, it is a simple process and you don't have to be too worried because you will easily be able to regain ownership of your business using Google and you just have to do a few simple steps. Now, to claim ownership of your business listing, just take a look at the listing that you have and just open up the listing that has been created in your name, whatever listing it might be. Just find your salon if it already has a listing. Once you click on the listing like I have over here, you will actually see in every listing, no matter how recognized this is, it shows a little section on the bottom right which says own this business question mark. So. All you have to do is select the listing that is imitating your business and then you will click on own this business. Now you can see someone else may manage this business profile and you will be able to see who is like they will give you an idea of the email that it, this business has been registered with. Now if this email belongs to you, you can simply switch, switch accounts but if you no longer have access to that email address or if this is a listing created by someone else trying to imitate your business you can simply click on request access and then you can add the uh, level of access that you want and you can say you want ownership access then you will add your relationship to that business you will enter owner and then you will enter your phone number as well so i will just do that and i will get back to you guys in one second now, once you have requested access, you will be able to see you requested to manage this portfolio. If the owner of the business hasn't responded to your request by this specific time, so usually it's five days or four days, you may be able to gain access. Now, this is a simple way that you can regain access or claim ownership of a business. And you can still suggest a edit to a business profile. Now, for some people, they might be wondering, hey, I requested access and I got a reply and it's not the reply that I wanted. Well, then you can again apply for ownership once more and verify that this business belongs to you and you will be able to claim ownership of your business. So once you have claimed ownership of a business, now three scenarios can happen. First off, if the owner of the business, the person that is currently running the business, if they accept the request and hand over the listing to you, so they grant you access, in that situation, you will be able to see that business on the email that you requested it from, and you will be able to find it in your Google business profile. Now, the second scenario is that they reject your request. So if they choose to reject your request to manage that business, then you have the option where you can actually go on ahead 
and appeal to that rejection. So you can appeal and make a case for your ownership of that business. And the third scenario is that if they choose to not respond, then Google has the opportunity to hand you over the access to that listing or hand you over the ownership of that listing. Now, in this way, you can search for any business listing that you might have or any business that you are running to check any kind of listings that are present. So if I just open up shoe stores over here, I can just zoom out and take a look at the shoe stores anywhere in the world. And you can go on ahead and focus and zoom into any of the listings over here. And once you have zoomed into the listings, let's say that you own one of these shoe stores and you can simply go on ahead and click on the business that you own. And if the listing has been created in the past, then you can see over here that there are certain businesses where you will not be able to put in a request like Ardeen. Now, this is because the verification has been completed and usually large chain stores, like if I was to try to claim ownership of a Target or of Walmart, I would not be able to do that simply because these larger corporations have already established their businesses with their authentic own ownership available. So that is something to keep in mind that you only want to try to claim ownership of businesses that you own. Simply because if you try to claim ownership of a store that is pre-existing and already has verified identity, you might get your email, you know, you're going to get your request rejected or you might not even have the option to appeal to that business or to just make sure that your email remains a link to that business as a manager, something, so on and so forth. So in this way, you're just going to do the same thing. You can do this for any business and manage this business to reply to reviews, updates, info, and more. And I own or manage another business, manage now. Now you can see this is actually a business that might not have a current owner. So if I click on the business, if I click on own this business, I can click on manage now and I can enter my postcode address to get my ownership. So if a listing has only been generated simply by name and no one has already claimed ownership of the listing, then you can simply go on ahead and put in your own name and claim ownership. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. And you are now able to get started with claiming your own listing on Google Maps or on Google My Business. And you're now able to get your business identity back to you. So make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave them in the comment box down below. And check out our other videos on how to create multiple Google My Business listings as well as how to set up your own google my business listing and i will catch you guys in the next video